When do uh, I and uh, my children, the whole family, get more Mandalorian? When you'll get that? it soon. Uh, you'll get it soon. Uh, I've got a little few things to do in regard to that to put some finishing touches on okay. what I do. Okay. Uh, but I believe it'll be sometime this summer. No date set yet, but coming soon. Okay. How, again, uh, I'm, I'm just assuming, but when the Star Wars folks, whoever that might be, or Disney folks reach out to you and say, would you like to be the evil character in The Mandalorian? in the Star Wars over the first television show based on it. How quickly do you say yes to that? Oh my goodness, John Favreau called me, said I have good news and bad news. I said, what's the good news? He said, I wrote a role for you in uh, Mandalorian, specifically for you. And I said, wow, fantastic, what's the bad news? The bad news is all the money's going on the screen. Uh, and I said, is there more good news? <laughs> How about back end, baby? <laughs> and he said to me, Disney's doing it. Wow, I have nothing but great things to say about this studio, about this franchise. Yes. Uh, in regard to how they have enlightened our children to mythology and to what's right and how to go about doing what's right, how to be in service, the Mandalorian is service, and Thankfully, they, I've been on another job in New York and pandemic hit, things have gotten backed up and they have waited for me with such wonderful love and respect for me to come back and, and do what I do um, and love to do. So uh, this is a great show. You say yes. And then you say, I've got one caveat, John. He's like, oh, what's that? I said, I must have a cape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, damn straight. Yeah, baby. <laughs> damn straight, you've got to have a cape. i got to have a cape, baby. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. I, I got to tell you, I had no idea you were in it. I had no idea. And we're watching it, my wife Susie and, and I, who are huge fans of yours and everything else that you've done. And my kids, as you might imagine, they have, they're 13, 11, and 8, so subtract a year and a half or whenever the first season of Mandalorian we were watching it is. They have yet to see you know, do the right thing and better call Saul. And, and, you know, they've yet to see a lot. They haven't seen the usual suspects yet. And so you pop up as Moff Gideon. And it dawns on me that you are now the evil character, the Vader of this equation. That's right. Okay? And I pause it, and my wife and I explain to them how lucky they are that you are playing this character. I swear to you we did this. It's just like, hey, you know, his name is Giancarlo Esposito. You, this is this is amazing. Like you are in, you're in, you're in good shape here. Thank you so much, you're Rich. You know, it's, it's it's true. A meaningful thing for young people to understand that the the deep link between uh, good and evil and stories of service like Mandalorian that excites them hmm. uh, is a deep mythology of historical relevance. And for me to be involved in this show extends. Um, the kind of spiritual elements that I believe in, but the human elements that we need in our world right now. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.